Oh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today marks a very special day. It's the day that I finally get to play Bully. Now, for whatever reason, I simply never got around playing it when it released. It's one of those games for me that I, I've i seen a million times that I must have wanted to play for years now, but it just never came to be. But today, that changes. So follow me on my adventures in Bully, won't you? Now, if you enjoy this and want a full-blown series out of it, be sure to smash a like on it and subscribe. You know what to do, all right? Okay, cool, let's start. Now, you might believe that you are following the story of Jimmy Hopkins the second you load in, but no, this is not how this thing is working for me, Jimmy. You see, I have been a failure and disappointment to my family, friends, and my life, and it all started here. Mm, it's cool. But no. Not this time. I will live through Jimmy and become the astronaut that I was meant to be but never became because I am indeed a lazy bum. So our story begins right here. Kicked out of my mother's and stepfather's car, left to my own devices at the gates of the prestigious establishment called Bullworth Academy. I've read for the brochure and it seemed like the perfect fit for someone like me. A place that values respect, integrity, compassion, service, hospitality, diversity and well, the moment I walked in the gates three guys wanted to brutally murder me. Oh man. But luckily I have partook in quite a few skirmishes in school camp I and with that I mean I freshman year I once got my back stuck on the railing of a staircase and it made it so that I couldn't move and everyone's pushing and yelling at me and this game is already giving me Vietnam flashbacks and thus I assert my dominance via foot to testicle technique and decided to call that a big victory royale. But then this prefect comes rushing around the corner and points at me violently. Of course I'm having none of this and I already am in a fist fight with the faculty of this academy. But then this man grabs me by the neck and quite literally choke slams me into the concrete floor and all I could think of is damn. The American school system really is hardcore. I see the error in my ways. I am not here to fight. I am here to become what I've never been able to become, but I am not going to lie. Morale was already at an all time low after that welcome party. But the clouds broke open and a Fallout 76 god ray blasted from the sky and it lit up a device sent from the heavens itself. Whoa, a quick sprung stop in this alternative universe. But as I got closer I noticed the name, Beam Cola. Now we Sprunk connoisseurs are spoiled with the delicious taste of Sprunk but of course are also open to different experiences. So I put my lips on the can and tasted the sweet sugary salvation. Ladies and gentlemen Beam Cola gets a stamp of approval. But enough of this it is time to sniff the educational air of the actual school building. Oh, I walk in and I see a fight unfold on my left, a guy loitering on my right, and then a hooligan runs in and vandalizes school property, which gets answered by a teacher choke slamming him, and I get pushed around, then a fight begins, damn, all of this in less than a minute. After meeting with Headmaster Crabble Snitch, I get instructions to put on my school uniform, and of course I oblige. I am actually quite excited to start my educational adventure. When I arrive at the dorm, I am greeted by Gary, who is keen on showing showing me around. And the first thing he shows me is the beam cola machine. And him deciding that that is the most important thing to show me solidifies my beliefs that this is the best school and that he indeed is my best friend forever now. I put on my school uniform and then Pete Kowalski walks in on me. Hmm, he seems like a kind bloke, but enough. Gary told me that he would show me around in school so I am eager to meet him, but then... I see a bully at the end of the hallway. Now I will not stand for any form of juvenile delinquent picking on fellow students, no. I want to become an A student at Bullworth, so I run up to the lads and I want to grab this fire extinguisher to smack him over the head, but he pushed me. Then a fight begins. Unfortunately, there is some collateral damage and I hit a big bloke and now we are all fighting and I have to take everyone out. But in a positive light, I found out how to grab the fire extinguisher and now I am absolutely hammering both of them. I feel. I am teaching a valuable life lesson here for all parties involved in this fight. Before going into the school and start the tour, it is of course time More for a quick beam blast. Ooh, that does sound alright. But enough, I meet with Gary and he shows me around. I meet with Russell, who is also keen to be my friend, and with that I mean keen to murder me. Gary also teaches me how to lockpick and hide in trash. Man, it wasn't exactly what I envisioned, but hey, knowledge is knowledge. But then... 
I find a damsel in distress. This fine, thick specimen is called Eunice, and I can feel a tingling sensation in my loins. It seems she is upset because someone stole her chocolate. I yell, say no more, you gorgeous lump of plump. I will find the chocolate and feed it to you myself. And thus, I find the delinquent, slam him into the ground and absolutely kick the living crap out of him. Thank God I obtained the chocolate. And as I run back, I see Eunice and I can't help but just uncontrollably start skipping. Man, I give her the chocolate and then... Oh god damn, that was hot. But Gary tells me we need to go to the cafeteria at once. But instead, I make out with Eunice again and I feel one of her bellies rub against mine. My chin resting in between one of hers and I hold on to what people must call side poop because there is indeed a slap dangling from her side. Oh man. I'll remember this forever. But enough, I must meet with Gary. But I feel so damn good about all of this now. The final thing that Gary wants me to see is the different groups in this fine establishment. We have me in high school. We have the guys who always beat me up in high school. We have these guys who also beat me up in high school. And then these guys who also beat me up. But enough, we are now nearly six and a half minutes into this video and we still haven't learned anything. So thus, it is time. And we start out with chemistry, my favorite subject that I believe it is quite essential to become an astronaut. I can't remember chemistry lessons being quick time events in real life, but hey, isn't the entire educational system a massive quick time event really? The teacher tells you something, you repeat it to pass the test. And after an hour of chemistry, I made a single firecracker. Now I don't think the combustion will generate enough force to fire a rocket into space, but hey, we are one step closer to becoming an astronaut. I did not hit her. It's not My English class is about to begin and I see Eunice walking in the hallway. Ooh, I want to go in for a quick sesh, but she just absolutely blanked me. She ran into biology class without even saying a damn word to me. And my entire day is now in rooms. In tears I go to English class, but my mind is somewhere else. I don't think Eunice, my lovely lump of plump, loves me like I love her. And let's be honest here, this is me trying to justify failing this super easy challenge. Like, come on, but luckily you don't need English to become an astronaut. By some miracle, I passed the test and well, I'm all done for school for today. But man, I was not having a good day at all. All I wanted to do is go back to my dorm and get this damn day over with. But luckily, I get to briefly talk to Mr. Crabblesnitch, who gives me moral support and life advice. But then, this absolute thundercock 360 no-scopes me with his slingshot. And that was it. I was gonna run after him to have some firm words with him. This kind of behavior is unacceptable. But as I run after him, I get jumped by these crooks and I've had enough. It was now time to assert dominance via clappage of cheeks, and thus I absolutely whooped these lads one after another until I was forced to face the slingshot terrorist. I threw a brick against his face, leaving a massive gaping hole where his left eye used to be and proceeded to finish the job by tossing a firecracker straight into the hole. In hindsight, this might have been a bit too harsh for him shooting me with a slingshot, but hey, if I am having a shit day, everyone is having a shit day. But enough. I simply need this day to be over with. So before I rest my head on my pillow, Wait for a good dream of a better tomorrow to take my troubled mind away. I put on some music to ease my aching heart. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. And if you want this to become a series, you be damn sure to let me know in the comments down below. And I will finish this damn game and turn it into, well, a near enough movie, I guess. But it is now time to thank all the members. There is 55 of you now, god damn it. But a special and huge shout out to Caron77. He is a 60 month member who recently upgraded to the highest tier. So thank you, my man. You know, I appreciate the living hell out of you. Also, for all the work you do on the Discord. But of course, I also want to extend my gratitude to everyone. Everybody else. I've, I've put a few new names for the members as well. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Ladies and gentlemen, there is some uh, merch coming up as well. Thank you guys all so much for watching. And I will see you guys later. Peace out.